Good morning kids and welcome back to new video. This is teacher Farah Zurek from Oxford Schools and I hope you're doing super well. Alright, so this is part one of From Seed to Plant and we will be covering pages 349 to 351 in the Journeys Common Core Students book. Alright, I hope you have in front of you and you came prepared. Now let's get into it. So the first thing you'll see once you open page 349, you'll see this beautiful blue sky, this beautiful sun, yellow sun, and we have here this plant which has flowers and peas. And it has in the ground some what? Roots. And you'll see the title of our um, text from seed to plant. And the author, Gail Gibbons. We have here a question. How do plants grow and change? We all know plants need some care. And they need food to, to grow. So most plants need the sunlight, water, and air to grow. Alright. In page 350, we have this picture of these amazing flowers. We have all types of flowers over here. Flowers is not just one kind. We have so many flowers. So we have the tulip. The tulip looks like this. The daisy has white um, petals, petals and yellow middle. The rose, pea. Buttercup. Buttercup flowers are always yellow. And corn. Corn is this amazing plant, tasty one, that we make popcorn out of it. Most plants make seeds. A seed contains the beginning of a new plant. Seeds are different shapes, sizes, and colors. All seeds grow into the same kind of a plant that made them. So, for example, if this tulip um, grew and had more seeds in it, and the seeds fell off, um, fall off, and went to the ground, and another plant grew, it will be another tulip. It will not be a daisy. So, this is the whole... Um, perspective of this sentence. So, if this seed falls off the ground, um, into the ground and grows, it will be a tulip, not a daisy. So, every seed that comes from this plant, for example, will grow another plant of the same type. So, many plants grow flowers. Flowers are where most seeds begin. So even if it, for example, if it wasn't, um, for example, let's say almonds. Almonds trees also grow some flowers. This is where the seeds are. All right. What do the flowers and vegetables in the picture on three on page three hundred fifty have in common? So they all have flowers, green leaves, as you can see here and stems all right how they are different of course look at the, oh, look over here they all have different colors this one is red white um reddish pinkish also another white um flower this one is yellow all right so they are different in size in colors that's it all right so again, most plants make seeds. A seed contains the beginning of a new plant. Seeds are different shapes, sizes, and colors. According to what? According to the type of the plant that the seed come, came from. All seeds grow into the same kind of plant that made them. Many plants grow flowers. Flowers are where most seeds begin. So, for example, in the daisy, where are we going to find the seeds? Exactly, in the middle, 
where the seeds are. Okay. What kind of plant will a rose seed grow into? Another rose plant. What about a corn seed? Another corn plant. So, how do we know this? Because all seeds grow into the kind of the plant that made them. All right. Now, let's see and find all the present verbs. Most plants make. What do plants do? Make seeds. Make seeds. Kids, remember, verbs are actions. So, what do this plant, these plants do? They make seeds. All right. A seed contains the beginning of a new plant. A seed. What? What does a seed have or does contains the beginning of a new plant? So contains is a present verb. The beginning of a new plant. Seeds are different shapes, sizes, and colors. Seeds are are. Are is a verb. Present verb. Seeds are different shapes, sizes, and colors. All seeds grow into the same kind of plant that made them. Grow, grow. What do plants do? Grow. Into the same kind of plant that made them. Many plants grow, grow. Flowers. Again, what do plants do? They grow flowers. Flowers are where most seeds begin. Flowers. What's up with the flowers? They are where most seeds begin. Begin. All right. I hope you have found already these present verbs. Okay. A flower is made up from many parts. So the flower is not just petals. It has a lot of parts in it. So we have a lot of parts. And the author provided us with this graphic feature. So we'll be able to understand more um, all of these facts over here. So we have labels. We have this graphic feature. And we have this illustration over here all right so a flower is made up from um of many parts sorry so as you can see here um we have the sticky part at the top of the pestle is the stigma what is a, a pestle in the center of the flower is the pestle so this part over here is the pestle we have on top of it a um, sticky part that is called stigma. This is the stigma. This is the pestle. Stigma, pestle. At the bottom of the pestle are tiny egg cells called ovules. Ovules. So over here, these what make the pollen. What is a pollen? So, stamens make yellow powder called pollen. Pollen. The pollen that transfers and creates another plant. So, stamens make yellow powder called pollen. The parts of the flower around the pestle are the stamens. These are the stamens. These, um, this is the stem. This is the sepa, the green leaf, the hard one underneath the flower. The petal is the beautiful um, flower leaves it's, itself. So we have ovules, pestle, stigma, pollen, and stamens. So in the bottom, we will find ovules. On top of it, we will find the pestle. And on top of it, we will find the sticky part that is called stigma. 
Over here we will find the pollen and over here that holds the pollen is called stamens. All right. Analyze the text. Text and graphic features. How does the diagram of the flower help you better understand the information on this, in this page? So, for instance, if I just said stigma, how would you know what a stigma is? If I didn't show you this illustration, you wouldn't have known this word because it is a new scientific word that is new to our new vocabs. So, illustrations do help us understand better the words, the sentences, the information that is in the text. All right. Again, kids, remember, nouns are names of people, places, or things. So, sepal is a name of this part. Stem is the name of this part. The word part itself is a noun. Flower is a noun. So, how would we name this thing if it didn't have the name flower? How would we call it? We won't be able to know how to call it if it didn't have a name. Everything has a name. These names are called nouns. Verbs, on the other hand, are actions or state of being. So, whenever I say is, a flower is made up of many parts. This is a state of being. A flower is made up of many parts. And we call is a present verb. Okay. In the center of the flower is the pestle. Is the pestle. Is is a present verb. Is again. The sticky part at the, at the top of the pestle is the stigma. Stimens make a yellow pattern called pollen. The parts of the flower around the pestle are, are, is the present verb over here. All right, kiddos, I hope you have learned a lot of new information. Please keep reading, and I hope you have enjoyed this, and you have learned a lot. Thank you for watching.